What's up guys, Farrells here with the NFL Combine Program Overview. In this video, I'm going to give you three sleeper players. I'm going to compare some of the middle user linebackers that are out there with some of the new options, and then I'm going to count down the top 10 guys here between Combine Warriors and Combine Event Champions. For info on the promo, head over to Mudhead. Remember, we more so review players and lineups and where those guys fall over the course of the season, not necessarily prices and promos and how to get more badges. But if you want to know all that, sets, solos are out, and the information's over on Mudhead. So make sure to check that out, exactly how much these guys go for. First things first, let's just jump right into the number one guy in the whole thing, Chris Johnson. He's the master. He's got 97 speed. you got those uniforms. It's going to get you another uh, little bit of extra speed. You juice them up with some move the sticks. And you're going to see the juke move and the spin move get all the way up there. Now, here's the billion-dollar question, right? He's got 89 route running, which is good for halfbacks. But is that really what you're getting Chris Johnson for? No, you're getting him for pure speed. The meta is not speed right now. It was speed. It was spin move. It was juke move when Barry Sanders was the hotness. But right now, that's just not the meta. And I think that for that reason, Chris Johnson, even though he has the wheels isn't somebody you can spend a million and a half coins on at this point, but he was the, he's the best stat-rated guy of this promo. Next up is Pat Pete, who as a corner, I always love in Madden. He's always six foot one, and he always has very, very good man coverage. Now his zone gets up to that second-tier level, and he has 94 speed. A good jump player, and has decent hit power for corner. Now, for 300k, there's a lot of good corners out there, and when you're going to get a guy to 91 anyway, and they're already going to play really, really good... You don't necessarily need to go for the Pat Pete, but early in the season, Pat Pete's always good. At this point, though, there's plenty of other corners that are 6'2", 6'3", that have the 91 zone, so I don't think you need to spend that much on this Pat Pete, and that's just my opinion. Next up, Odell Beckham, who you know had a down season with the injury, so he didn't quite get as many upgrades. Now you've got 95 speed on this version with Energizer. He's only up to 94 route running and 90 catch in traffic. Now, Odell and Madden always known for his spec, obviously. Um, but his speed and his spec are very, very good on this item, top tier, amazing, but at 5'11", is that the spec you want? Is this the guy with all the legends out there you want to go after? I think that there's some different options there. Um, at receiver, guys that are taller, he can do everything. He's really, really good, but with Julio's, Antonio Brown's, uh, Bolitnikov's, there's, there's so many dudes out there at receiver that it's really a price game. And so he might lose out when he's new at this point in the season. Clowney is always an amazing Madden option. And he's at 400 right now. Now, I'm actually pretty surprised that he's only up to 84 strength. I know I believe there's a power-up version that's going to be one better. But at six foot five, people like to use her Clownies. But this is a left-end Clowney. It's not an outside linebacker Clowney. So you're not going to really use her this Clowney. He doesn't have the strength really to hold up in the run game. And he's got both moves, but there's a lot of guys that already have both moves. So even though I love this block shed, I love his hip power, I want to use her my clownies. And I think with guys like Barr that are already capable of being usered, um, this specific clowny with his strength a little bit lower than other years, like his strength's usually kind of nasty. Um, you know, I don't think it's something I'm going to put in my lineup for uh, 400K at this moment. But here is an item I am going to pony up for. Orion Shazier with hot hands. This is a user 101, and I know I like guys that are six foot five or taller to use her, but I always make an exception of guys that are six one when I see 93 speed, which is peak. That's peak level uh, user ability from Ryan Shazier. 94 hip power. He can rush a little bit, but you really want to use this guy across the middle. Is he better than Anthony Barr? You know, that is an interesting question. At 93 speed, I do feel that that three extra speed can justify the three inches that you lose. Plus, he's going to cost a little bit less. So I do enjoy the fact that uh, he gives you a couple extra bonuses. Plus, he has hot hands. Not that you really drop user picks over secure tackler. Um, so I would say he actually is a slightly better user than the bar. And once again, that is my opinion. Next up, Brandon Cooks. Speedster. This version has 96 speed. That's amazing because it's a Brandon Cooks, but there is a couple other sleeper guys we'll talk about that have better speed, so I would hold on this uh, option and look for get cheaper speed. Shout out to Nika for nominating me, Man of the People. 
Next up, Evan Ingram, who is really, really good and sleepy and a lot of people's salary cap tight end. 93 speed. Now, they did put in less expensive options at tight end with guys like Bo Jackson out of position. You can get a 90 speed tight end pretty easily. 93 is hard to get, though. And this guy brings it to the table. I don't think I'd pony up extra for the three extra speed for this. But I think his price will come down. Obviously, this is a new promo. And I think you're really, really happy with this route running. If you just need a pure route running pass catcher, and you don't necessarily care about the extra Gronk blocking or the extra Kelsey blocking or the extra Winslow blocking, and you just want fast speed receiver, then go there. Next up, Miles Garrett Beast. So I've always liked Miles Garrett since he came in last year because he has the strength that I honestly think that the Clowney has had in years past. Plus, he's got both of his moves very balanced, and I think you can get him up potentially pretty close to 90 on both sides. And you got Blockshed uh, to play in the run game. So you've got a beast strength right end. This is like a Reggie White base level, almost J.J. Watt level option. I wouldn't go extra. Like I said, these prices have to fall. They have to settle. Um, I don't think it's a must-buy at 500 at this moment, but it is an option uh, for a really, really good item, especially if you're already, uh, you know, working some of those guys in your lineup. Byron Jones always comes out around this time with his jump, which is 98, but he's now above. Look, he doesn't have the hip power. He's got some height, but not 6'3 height of a Ken Houston, of all the guys in the secondary. There's amazing guys. But if you want to get a guy that I think will fall to a lower cost, and, and doesn't necessarily have the hip power, but it's more of that like true center, free safety, just a, a speedy, fast cover guy, kind of like what, how Earl plays in um, regular modes at the start of the year, this would be where you could find that, or hopefully a little bit less than some of those legends that are out there. Christian McCaffrey, I would pass on. He's up to 93 speed. He's a very, very good route runner, which is really good at halfback. But once again, I'm looking forward to, like he's, this would be a good budget halfback at certain points in the season if his price was dropping. Um, that's an opinion, but truck backs to meta, that's where you're going to go. But I do think this could be a good budget back at certain points in the year. And a guy we're always going to look to if he can run routes like that to be that Shady McCoy type. Um, Don Tari Poe, enough said, 97 strength, 92 power move. If you don't want to go for Poe, I would recommend a Steven Paya. I always recommend him every year. He's up to 98 strength with his combine version. He doesn't really have anything else worth going after, but if you really believe strength is what pushes the pile and it keeps you in there, he'll do it for a lot less than Poe, although he doesn't have the block shit necessary to get off the block, which can help increase some of, of the ways he can go off the block. You're not really going to buy this guy to rush the passer anyway because he's a little bit slower than a guy you could just slide over from there. Budget guys, they're saying lots of things. They're saying, don't say John Ross is a sleeper. But John Ross is a sleeper. He's three times less already off the bat, and he has 98 speed. So if you're going to get Brandon Cooks, just go get John Ross. I know he misses some of these stats. But after seeing long touchdowns, the guys like Tyreek um, Hill in the Ultimate League, or just kind of some speedy guys in the slot, like real cheap speedy guys, you need a cheap sp speedy guy to take the top off the D uh, one time. So 98 speed is the fastest in the game. He's going to be 99 with the right uniforms. You need John Ross. Like, I get he's not a sleeper because he's been in the game and he was a, he was my sleeper at the start of the year, but he's still a sleeper. And if he's already three times less than these prices, I think will come down. That's a guy you need. Now somebody said Bud Dupree, but I don't I didn't see a Bud Dupree in uh, in these versions, so he's not a sleeper for me. Bruce Irvin, once again, he's already three times less the cost. He's a bit of a jack of all trades. If you're still building your team and you're in, you know trying to get guys that can do a lot of different things, and you want a right outside linebacker that's 6'3", almost 90 speed, can rush the passer with 90-plus power move, can have 90-plus hit power, can also drop in a zone with 82 coverage. Bruce Irvin's a guy that you're pretty happy with if you pull him out of there. Lastly, this guy, Hassan Reddick. Instead of Shazier, who he's five times less than Shazier, he has 90 speed, and he's also 6'1". So this is like where Shazier was early in the season if you don't have the 90 speed version of Shazier. Uh, you get a lot of value from... This gentleman right here, 85 pop in his bat, is good enough to party. And he'll make some plays across the middle of the defense to have that. So those are the guys I look to in this promo. The Cooks, I think I hold up on for now. Somebody in the chat just asked. But 
uh, those are the guys you want to review. And if you have questions, and also if you have sleepers uh, in the, the uh, comments, let me know. Plus, let me know your team overall. As I start to look at some of these guys, you know, I want to recommend guys that are in the 88s to the 90s. But if everybody in the chat is at a, at, is at a 92, let me know. But if you're still in the chat and you're like, I'm an 84, I, I would love to get a Bruce Irvin. That's great. I still don't have all 91 zone CBs. Tell me who they are. So, like, those are the things I want to know in the comments because they'll help me help you build your team better as we explore the upcoming MUT season here. But that's the Combine program. Until next time, guys, lock up.